all right so what up lizard gang how's it hanging on this video right here we're back on 27th avenue i'm gonna go down here to northern i'm gonna show you guys some ghetto ass apartments i like doing that let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see some ghetto apartments too yeah i'm gonna do that and then come back down this way what up homie that fool's sagging so yeah let's go over here by northern first and get a little tour of those ghetto apartments and then come right back up here let me see i'm gonna put my camera up a little bit because i noticed last video that it was kind of it was going down and the only view that you guys would get was uh right here on my handlebars so i need to remember to keep my camera up yeah so these apartments are over here with all the all the zombies chill at let me see if i could get across the street really quick we good yeah we good the, these apartments that we're going to right now they're ran by the same owner that that owns the northern palms apartments so they're like back to back I hope my camera doesn't turn off right now when I got off my car. Right now, hey, thanks, bro. Do you like the bike or what? Huh? Like the bike? Nice bike. Yeah. Is yours an electric bike or what? Yeah. It was two G's. Yeah. They're expensive. Is yours an electric bike or what? Nah. My, my tires are like that. <laughs> Where are you going right now? Trying to figure out about the tire situation. Oh, you need to patch it or what? Yeah, I need some. All right. You take care, man. Yeah, so these apartments right here, actually, they're really bad, too. I might do a little tour on them on the next one. But, yeah. Let's go see these other apartments right here. They're full of bandos, man. If you guys don't know what bandos are, they're like apartments that have been taken over by the blue heads and zombies. Like they'll board them up and then these guys will just crawl in there and go inside them and live in them. Pretty much squatting them. But yeah, look, these apartments right here, they're no joke right here. Look at that. They're all boarded up, bandos. I thought we could go straight to the other section of these apartments, but I guess not. You gotta go to the front right here. But yeah, I did an interview on some chick right here. She told me that she had a bando. I'm still trying to do like, I'm trying to find somebody that'll like introduce me to their crowd inside a bando. <laughs> I know that sounds, sounds really dangerous, but hey man, it is what it is, homeboy. This is what I do. Look at these right here. All these, this one's closed. That one's closed. They're all condemned. Let's go all the way in the back. See if there's anybody. Oh no. Looks like they were just chilling there, but took off. Look at this bottom. Chilling in the shade. How's it going? What do you guys think about living here? Would you guys stay at these apartments or not? How's it going? She's having trouble breathing, so I called paramedics. Oh, yeah? Are yeah. they coming right now? Yeah. That's good, man. I have a Narcan oh, spray yeah. and an injectable, but I just want them to come because she, when she lays down, she's yeah. having trouble breathing. Oh, I hear them already coming. Yeah. And now she's, I know she's yeah. Is that, so. Sydney? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Are you all right? 
Well, she lays down. Hey, the ambulance is coming, all right? You should go by the shade right there. Go sit by the shade. You're gonna be okay, Mama. You're gonna be Yeah, go okay. sit right here. Like, guide her over there. No, no. And I'm just saying, come on. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Let's go over here. Come this way. Yeah, I'll hold her. Walk over here, Sydney. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll get your bag. Come on. Sit right here in the shade because you don't want to. All right. Well, that's good, right? Yep, that should be. Here's your bag. Yeah, Both your bags. I want to call them, but when she was laying down, she was like barely breathing. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, they're well, just going to check you out. No, 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 no. I'm fine. They'll, they'll get you better. They're, they're just going to check your vitals. That's it. They're not going to do anything. They won't take you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. You stay right here? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Can you sit up? What? Do you need anything? Some water. Sit up so we can actually listen to you. Are you thirsty? You know where you're at? There. Sit up. Huh? Okay. I got a bottle of water right here. Okay. Alright, cool, man. Was she there all morning? No, I just heard a noise so like about half an hour ago. I heard a noise and she was laid out right here and like spread out eagle and not moving. And I was like, holy fucking dying on my porch. And then yeah. I was like, at first I'm kind of like, get off my porch. Yeah. Then she went laid in the rocks and I'm like, oh God damn. So I went over there, got yeah. her out of there, put her where there was she. Yeah, it's but probably that sun put, getting to her too. Yeah. Yes, and then um, she laid back, and I saw her chest, and I was watching her chest, because I, I don't know CPR, but I can do it, I yeah. know I can, it's just I haven't done it in a long time, and then I have the Narcan and the other Narcan, yeah. so I'm like, bro. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But she, twice, three times she laid down, and she was like, her chest was barely going up, and she was twitching up, I was like, <laughs> I don't want, I'm not on my watch, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. If she wasn't yeah. in trouble breathing, I wouldn't have talked to her. Yeah. If it wasn't like she was in the street like this. Yeah, but you never know. A lot of them, they could be dying and they refuse the help. The first time I tried that, no, I died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't leave. Couldn't That's crazy. leave her alone. You're good now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, thank God. And I had the Narcan Indian jacket. Oh, they're administering one of those things, huh? Yeah. Does that happen a lot here? Yeah, and I see them walking around a lot. I see them come and go here, like in through the yard sometimes. They'll be wobbling around, but that's only like twice that I've yeah. never seen it this bad. Hmm. How much do you pay here? My rent is, I think, with the electricity and all that, it's like probably 1800 1800 That's a, a lot. Bedroom, that's a lot to live here, though. Bedroom house. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know though. 1800 is a lot. Well, I have section eight, so I oh, okay. Pay. So you, you don't pay the whole thing, just a portion of it. No, 
Is everybody that lives here, are they all Section 8? No, not all of them. No? Yeah, but there should be because nobody in their right mind should want to live here. Yeah, I know. Why do you live here, though? Because I'm safe. My house is really safe. I don't let people in it. And yeah. if I do, they know somebody that I know. Or I'm, I usually run people off, run people off my... Um... Yeah, go ahead. It's all right, Sydney. Just go get your water. Just go get it. Just have a good day. Yeah. They're like, just another day, huh? Yeah, this happens all the time. That's why I have the fentanyl. How often does this happen? All the time. All the time? Yeah, they're already... It's just another day for them. Yeah. And then I'm like, I come back out, just something told me, come back out and check. Hmm. I came back out, she's, she's right there in the sun, laying like on the rocks. Yeah, man. And I'm like, man, I would want somebody to come get me. Like, yeah. I noticed that like half of these are boarded up. Yeah. Man. Yeah. They were all houses, man. They were all full of, uh, what are they called? Kind of and now they're all um, bandos, huh? Yeah. People just going in them? Yeah. Yeah. They break into them and they live in there for like, until the sheriffs come. Then Man. they all run out and they can't That's catch. crazy. Look at it. Is she okay? Then they get it? Yeah, they gave her water. They gave her an Narcan and she's there like, you need to get out of here. Oh, dude. It's just a sad world, bro. It is because I, I bet they just do that because they're so used to it they're now. So you know, oh they're God, just like. She's in the middle of the street, bro. Oh, they can't do that. They can't. Oh, shit. Where would they take her, though? You know? I don't know. She might. I don't want to get her. She got scared. That was Bob Smith. She had a little burp. She's like, oh, shit. She's wetting herself. Yeah. Let me go see. Get it up. Yeah, I got one in my backpack. You all right now? I'm fine. What's in your problem, Ben? I don't want to call you. Why? Put this down. <laughs> Grab a seat right there on that rock or something. Yeah, I don't think she's going to listen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I did I did an interview with um I forget her name but down here. Yeah. And then uh you came out and I asked you a little bit of questions. An and interview? You, yeah. For what? I was interviewing someone for my YouTube channel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. You're on my other YouTube channel. that or what? Yeah. yeah, all right, cool. Shit, people taking care of normal people, right? Yeah. I'm just out here riding around doing my vlogs, man. But I was like, I watch people like you on yeah. YouTube and I follow them too. I, I was telling my audience, like, I'm gonna go to these ghetto apartments. There's usually a lot of things going on yeah. right there. And this one's active yeah. all the time. All the time, huh? All the time. There's not, I just told my, my, my friend, I'm like, there's never a fucking dull moment. There's yeah. Never. But yeah, I'm glad you're doing this because it brings information, awareness, huh? Awareness. See, there's people out here and how they treat them because yeah. I would not have left her on the street walking yeah. the street and left. Yeah, a lot of people would just drive by. They don't care. They don't They care. could be passed out, whatever. I've seen people that were actually dead on the street for like a couple of hours and people, they'll, they'll be on the sidewalk. People just walk over them like nothing. It's just another day for That's people. They're they're being They're desensitized already yeah. to what's going on. That's somebody's baby. Like, yeah. I couldn't do it. If that was my daughter right there, man, I would pray to God that somebody yeah. would just go get her out of the street or where is she? She's over She's there. Good? Yeah. All right. All right. 
Uh, Juan. Juan, I'm Juan. Juan, I do, I do tales from the streets. Oh my God, I know you. <laughs> I know you. You heard my voice before, huh? Yes. Your voice is is right on, man. I know you. <laughs> okay. Tales from the streets. And, yeah, uh, and I'm I'm vlogging on my other channel now. I do uh. You have nicknames for people like. Yeah, uh, I, I I do lizard hunter. Yeah, there you go. I do oh, uh, yeah, I, I do all, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's me, man. But just don't let anybody know, cause oh, everybody out here is against me. You know, I, I don't know. They're tripping. They always trip on me. So That's they're like, "Hey, why, why are you exposing uh, the streets like that?" You know and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? I've had such a, a difficult life in my life, and I, you know, I have trouble. I, I've battled addiction, suicide, depression. You name it. And I used to be like, <laughs> "Yeah." You know what I mean? And then when I went through all that shit, I started looking around me with the people who were just like me. And I'm yeah. like, man, dude. Like, nice to meet you. Yeah. What was your name again? Noel. Noel. All right, man. Juan. Juan. This is the most basic thing I can remember. <laughs> all right, man. You too. Yep. Yeah, you guys see that? Like she said, not ever a dull moment here. I knew that for some reason I just got like this feeling like I need to go down to them apartments right there Because these apartments right here are always active guys always Sydney's already all the way over there So let's go down to um, Glendale I don't want to make this video too long though, you know? Maybe, I don't know. I'll see right now. Maybe I'll do it next time. I want to do a little tour on these apartments right here though. For reals. These apartments are ghetto too, man. Look, Phoenix Rescue Mission. They got CBI, all kinds of like different corporations or what do you call it? different places that come out here and talk to these people so the help is there they just need to want it and that's it you know but a lot of these people don't want the help you guys gotta understand that a lot of these people are out here because they want to be out here this dude got himself a little get himself a torta that was happy with that though and they called it torta love all right homies thank you guys for being on the on this episode too man because uh i was just gonna go down there and i was gonna go show you guys that apartment i didn't know nothing was cracking uh, but yeah, man, those apartments right there, they're always, there's always something going on. Why? I don't know. Can somebody do something about it? Who knows? I don't know. But like I said, where are they going to take these people to, you know? All right. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Like it, share it. So you guys can uh, show everybody else, uh, your family members out of state, how it, it goes down in Arizona phoenix to be exact and uh i'll check you guys out on the next one al rato peace